Broadcasting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Damage 365 Radio. This is episode number 57. This is also the final episode of season number two and of 2014. I am your host, Coach Kev, along with my co-host for today. Joining me via satellite, Nick the Beard. Welcome to the show, Nick. Thank you very much, Kev. I want to say thank you for having us this weekend. Uh, it was a great party and uh, good to hang out with everybody. It was good times, good times at the uh, Damage 365 Radio's first ugly sweater party. And uh, uh, 47 people turned out. Great party. And I want to thank everybody out there for, for being a part of it and uh, being a part of history. And we all had a good time uh, as hosts and uh, just in. You know, just partying in general, we had a really good time. So we want to thank everybody out there that was part of the first annual Damage 365 Radio Ugly Sweater Party. <laughs> so a lot of good faces, a lot of familiar faces, a lot of contributors to the radio show, a lot of fans, and uh, just good times all around. Uh, we want to thank everybody who was just tuning in for Damage 365 Radio Network show, Real Sports Talk with Kenny Kluska. As he filled you in on all the games that were going on in the NFL and other sports news that are current going around the world of sports today. But right now, sit back, relax, all you football fans, because the Jets and the Giants are done for the day and for the season. Thank God. And let's get some birthday shout outs in the house today. Shout out time, ladies and gentlemen. We got some good birthdays, some special birthdays in the house. Happy birthday, Damage alum Megan Komar. Happy birthday to Damage alum Joe Grande. And happy birthday to Damage alum Dina Johnson. Special happy birthday goes out to another man who makes the big event possible, Brian Barth. Happy birthday, Brian. Happy birthday to one of the best family members a person can have. He was here last night with the family, my cousin Luke Nasta. Happy birthday, Luke. And happy birthday to Damage 365 Radio's own co-host Nick DeBeard, who turns 27 years young on Tuesday. Happy birthday, Nick. <laughs> it's okay, Nick. You can talk. Ah, <laughs> uh, well... Ladies and gentlemen, um, as everybody knows, we will have a um, some special guests in the house today, and um, I don't know if I lost Nick or not. Nick, did I lose you? I think I lost Nick. All right, Nick, I can't hear you, so call us back. We'll get you right back on. But um, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a great show lined up for you. Uh, right after the commercial break, we'll have the ladies of Valkyrie Professional Wrestling. That is a uh, an all... Yes, we definitely lost... <laughs> we definitely lost Nick if everybody didn't hear that noise. Um, so Valkyrie's Women's Professional Wrestling, we will have them in the house today. We will have their champion, Casey Carlisle, and the number one contender for her title, and the woman that she will be facing on January 23rd at the next Valkyrie show, that will be Mistress Belmont. 
They'll both be on the show today, so uh, it, it's I'm sure it's going to be a little bit a little bit crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit crazy with those two on going back and forth. So maybe some verbal jabs back and forth, but um, this is kind of the calm before the storm because they're going to kind of duke it out here on the airways. We're going to ask them some questions. Hopefully, uh, you know, tear each other's faces off, and um, as they get ready for their huge title match. On January 23rd, as we said, um, Valkyries, Women Professional Wrestling, Damage 365 Radio will be there live for the first time uh, at a Valkyrie show. It's It should be very, very interesting. And um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened to Nick. Poor Nick. Nick, go bye-bye. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get Nick back. Nick, if you can hear me. <laughs> If you can hear me, come back, Nick, please. It's not the same without you, Nick. Come back, please. <laughs> oh, man, poor Nick. Uh, I, I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, apparently he's having some phone difficulties, and uh, but he will be joining us momentarily as, as soon as he can get his phone to give us a call back. So, uh, Nick, give us a call back. So I don't have to do the show. I, I think that is a, a Nick call. Nick, are you calling back in? Nick. Why can't we hear the guy? Where's, where's my tech support? Nick, are you there? I'm here. For some reason, uh, you're, you, you will not go through to the Bluetooth. I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't. I have no idea what happened. So uh, it, 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 it just went. It just went silent for a minute, and then all of a sudden it cut out. And then I tried to. Uh, it didn't work. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know what happened, but uh, hopefully everybody can hear Nick. I know the audio is going to be a little bit uh, less than awesome <laughs> because he's now calling at a speakerphone instead of out of our Bluetooth receiver. Uh, I have no idea what happened there. So. Um, Unfortunately, with live radio, stuff like this happens. <laughs> so, but Nick, but as long as you're with us, Nick. I'm here. I'm always there. You, you missed a whole happy birthday to you. Well, I appreciate the happy birthday. You did say yesterday that it was on the itinerary, so I appreciate the happy birthday from, uh, from you and everybody else. Uh, two more days, and then I'll uh, be one step closer to being as old as Kevin. Um, yeah, you got more than two days to be as close as old as I am, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, we we've had conversations this morning about uh, you know who graduated high school when and college yeah. when, and you guys made me feel really really freaking old. Uh, greatly <laughs> greatly appreciate it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. All right, but at this time we're gonna take a commercial break because when we come back we're gonna be joined by Valkyries. Heavyweight champion. I don't know if you can say heavyweight champion with women's wrestling. I'm, I'm just going to say Valkyrie's women's champion, Casey Carlisle. And again, the number one contender for her title and the lady she'll be facing on January 23rd, Mistress Belmont. They'll be joining us. So uh, sit back, relax. We're going to go to a commercial break. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hello. Ladies, I'm the Big Balboski here, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. <laughs> Esposito's Pizza and Pasta, over a decade of excellent dining experience. Dine in, take out, or free delivery. We feature over 25 different types of pizza pies, and also we will create anything you want. Our sauces are made fresh daily and use only the freshest ingredients. We also have good old-fashioned style entrees, cooked like your mom used to make. From wraps, calzones, rolls, and pasta specials galore to calamari and soups. All in a cozy atmosphere. Call today or stop on in. You're listening to Damage 365 Radio. And this is ECW Original, the Angry Amish Warrior Roadkill. Chickens. Okay. 
Ladies and gentlemen, and at this time, we'd like to welcome our guests of honor. Uh, they are Valkyries champion Casey Carlisle and the number one contender for her title and the lady that she'll be facing on January 23rd for all the marbles, Mistress Belmont. Ladies, welcome to the show. Oh, it is your pleasure to have your champion, Casey Carlisle, on the air, and that goes for you too, Belmont. You're grouped in with that as well. You, you know, it's an absolute pleasure, but it's really your pleasure, Miss Carlisle. <laughs> We're starting to, Trust me, sweetheart, starting as long to... as you're on the line with me, there's no pleasure to be had. <laughs> Good for you, too, gentlemen. <laughs> We're starting already. <laughs> uh, okay, we, we have some questions uh, we'd like to uh, ask you guys individually, and a couple questions um, we'd like to ask you together. We're, we're going to kind of start off the way we always start off with our guests. Uh, first, Casey, um, how did you decide that you wanted to become a wrestler? Like, what or whom was your largest influence? Um, I decided that I was going to be a wrestler when I was an eight-year-old girl. And I sat down in my living room with my sister, and she was watching WWF Superstars. And I plopped down in the floor, and I watched it for about five minutes, and then I said, that's what I'm going to do. Because I got completely sucked into the physical storytelling that was unfolding before my little eight-year-old eyes. Um, and from that point forward, every single person who I saw on the TV was an influence of some sort because they were there, and I wasn't, and I wanted to be. Um, so they were all an influence of some sort. But uh, when I was that eight, eight-year-old girl, my biggest... Idol at the time, everybody sit down and be ready with Brutus Beefcake. Idolized the man. Loved him. Stop laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I hope it was the fish My, uh, No, no. <laughs> I don't Beefcake. recall any opinions other than Casey Carlisle's being asked for people. So I just <laughs> <laughs> um, on top of Brutus, my other influences were Sherry Martell, great big, huge influence on me. Um, and then as I got older and years kind of passed, I was also really influenced by Luna Vachon. Um, I was really into, like, the Judy Martins, the Sherrys, the Leilani Kais, all of those nasty old school, you know, 